Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the $1,200 I had pre-ordered and to give you guys a outline of what actually happened. So I ordered from the same store. It is my friend's store, meaning he owns it. And I've said this many times. He does it as a hobby. Um, he either breaks even or loses a tiny bit of money, but he gets to collect for instance, he loves Zelda games and he has like the biggest collection of Zelda video games that I've ever seen in my life, uh, even on YouTube or anywhere else. That's because he's a store and he can take in the games, right? So I put down a $50 deposit on $1,200 of product. Uh, it was two cases of Battle for Zendikar, two cases being 12 boxes. I no longer am interested in Battle for Zendikar boxes. I shifted that part over to fat packs. Uh, the fat packs, assuming that they are like the fat packs of the old Zendikar, which is not guaranteed by any matter, would have at least 49 full art lands. You're going to get your 40 in the deck and then you're going to get the 9 from the 9 booster packs you have. 49 full art lands from Zendikar at this moment in time retail goes for about $49. Now, a fat pack you can get for $30. I get them for $28.50, uh, assuming I buy like a lot of them. I don't know exactly how many cases it comes out to, but it's quite a bit of cases. So uh, instead of getting, I'm still gonna spend quite a bit of money on Battle for Zendikar. Actually, the amount changes, like I think it goes down a little bit, like $20, but what I'm spending it on is going to be different. So I'm going to spend it primarily on uh, fat packs, mainly because the fat packs have these full art lands, which are still valuable. And I don't feel like the set is going to, um, I'm very disappointed that the fetch lands are not in it, but the set still has value to me because foil full art lands, they're not worth anything less than a fetch land for sure. Like that's true. So anyway, um, fat packs is probably the way to go just because you're guaranteed 40, if you're guaranteed nothing else, you have a dice and 40 full art land, 49 full art lands, and that itself is kind of valuable if you can get it for under $30, which you should be able to get. I think Dave and Adams has it as a case for under $30 right now, $30 a box. So it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, spend any less because that's kind of the amount I committed and my friend is he hasn't ordered any of the stuff yet so he can change the order anytime he wants it doesn't matter to him what the so he's got to sell x amount um, five thousand dollars a month is about the minimal um, for him to get the best price out there for magic product and he can't move singles he cannot move he tried moving boxes on eBay but then he got bored and stopped doing that so between, I think, my other best friend and a few good friends that we have, we spend about 5K at the store a month just so it can, uh, actually from the Vault Angels. So from the Vault Angels, I'm probably gonna get one or two of those at MSRP uh, as part of the order, as well as a more Gianna figure from Maggie. And that's, I think that makes my order. So I'm gonna get about let's say a thousand plus dollars in fat packs and then a Morgiana figure and then a from two from the Vault Angels and that completes my order. So it's pretty good. I'm okay with it. Like the lands I can sit on, I can sell to Strike Zone anytime. Strike Zone takes the Zendikar basic lands at this point in time for about, I think two and a half for a dollar. So three for a dollar. Uh, meaning if you had 49 of them, they would buy just the lands, just the lands for it looks like 10 bucks, 15 bucks probably they would offer you. At least 15 bucks, right? Which is not bad, like 16 bucks. $16 and like a quarter or something for just the lands that you get at the fat pack, not including anything else that you pull from the fat pack or uh, any of that stuff. So overall, like I'm okay with buying fat packs. I don't know if uh, cases, booster boxes are the way to do go because a booster box only has 36 lands versus a fat pack which has 49 of these. And again, I have no idea if the fat packs will have the full art basics. They might not. I mean, everyone expected Zendikar. I'll be the first one to say I fully expected Zendikar if enemy Fessalans to be in this product because as we're gonna talk maybe earlier, 
not being in the product has significant consequences. So a lot of people say, oh, Tomogorf is in the product. But what they don't understand is if Tomogorf was not in the product, how high would his price go? Um, just like the Zendikar Fest lands, and that will be our MTG finance video for the week. We'll be an analyzing the, the Fest land, seeing if you can, uh, if it's understandable, is it reasonable, like what are, like what happened there? But anyway, I, I like to support my local stores. I do support my other local store quite a bit as well. And I probably need to make a larger order. And mainly to me, it's a hobby. I don't I actually talked to a uh, subscriber, uh, Jason, for a long time. And he was helping me with a, a project. And we both agreed. And we talked for such a long time. And it's so great to connect with subscribers. I guess that will be my last video for the week. I don't know when that video will be posted but it's really fun connecting to subscribers and talking to you guys. I know a lot of you feel like I'm not interacting, but I inter what when I do interact with you, it'll be for like four or five hours and uh, you'll get tired of me. Bye guys. Um, yeah, so I'm perfectly fine with the $1,200 on Battle for Zendikar. It looks like the full art lands themselves are valuable. And that's no, I'm not trying to like convince myself that I've wasted this money, right? Uh, in my opinion, uh, 49 full art lands for under 20 for $28 um, you can buy list it in two years for 15 16 dollars you're paying $12 for nine packs and you got a deck box let's say that dice is a dollar deck box is a dollar I mean you're just looking at a lot of value if you can get the fat packs if if the fat packs have the f packet of land so every fat pack has a pack of land, but what made Zendikar so dip, so special was their pack of land was 40 full art lands of each type. So actually, now, let me rewind. Sp st strike Zone, Spike Zone, <laughs> Spike Zone Online. Uh, strike Zone Online pays for a lot more when they're sealed because there's a complete set. So I don't even know if it's 15. They probably pay somewhere closer to 20, $25 for a sealed Zendikar full art land. So I mean, you're already looking, you're looking at nine packs of $3. I don't, I don't see how that can go wrong uh, as long as you're willing to sit on that for a while. Bye guys.